from the thunderstorm. Oh! oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? And welcome back to a new video and welcome to what I actually think it's like episode 89 of The Sims 4 Dream House, my Ultra Sun series. You guys have been asking for this. There hasn't been a huge amount going on in this series. Is that Max? Who, who is that? Oh my gosh, it's Tyler. I thought that was Max for a minute there. You guys have been asking for Dream House, so we're back. Look, I just wanted to pause for a second so I could show how many Sims be chilling out on this lot right now. Is there so many of them? It is, of course, like the after party of uh, Faith and Caden's wedding. The Faden wedding. Ooh, this is very topical, Rue, because Rue is like, but who am I? I'm still not sure who I want to be when I grow up, and all my friends seem to have figured it out. How do I figure out how to be myself? Pick whatever you like, Rue. There's going to be a development in Rue's storyline today. But right now, this is the problem when you've got a kid, you guys, because everybody else is enjoying the after party. Like, it's only 9 p.m. I mean, I say everyone's enjoying it is doing sit-ups. I've never enjoyed those in my life. But when you've got a toddler, things are a little bit less enjoyable because this one is really sad. He's really hungry. It's all a little bit late for him. He's come over to Jake for some snuggle hoonies. But when you've got a toddler, you kind of have to head home from the party. So I'm gonna send home Ryder, Jake, and uh, Cody for now. Evie's obviously at home. They've left the dog all at home. Very sad. There's more toddlers running around here. There's a little sage. Oh my gosh. Is anybody else getting like intense nerves from watching a toddler run around the pool like that? Oh, she's gone even closer to the edge. Kiddo, what are you doing to me? Are you trying to make me cry? Get away from the pool. Summer, please get your sister away from the pool right now because we should not be having incidents where kids fall in the pool. Why am I sending Rue home as well? Rue, you don't have to go home. You can stay. It's just uh, the Jida fums that need to head home. Because Ooh, look at this. I just somehow cut my finger. Ooh, ow, that hurts. You know when you scratch, like you scrape the skin off and it really hurts? That's what's going on now. But um, they have to go home because they've got a toddler. And when you've got a toddler... You gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna head home with Jida. Leave the party. It's very sad. I'm struggling to do it because it seems like a great party. It's like a pool party at this point. I'm gonna have a sip of my coffee while it's loading though. There we go. Oh, oh, it's 9 p.m. But oh my gosh, you can. Oh, I love little little should see things like this. It's summer and this is like how summer is in the UK. You see how it's 9 p.m. and it's still really bright. In, this, in the UK, it could be even more extreme than this. The further north into Europe you go, I guess it's the same anywhere in that hemisphere, but you'll get my drift. It stays light for ages. And when we went to Iceland, um, when did we go to Iceland? We went, we went to like the spa and stuff. It's in one of our Pokemon Go videos. It never, the sun never set. So it was like bright at like 4 a.m. in the morning. It was so weird, but I like that The Sims has kind of included these brighter evenings. Really, really nice. I love that. Um, where is Cody? Okay, okay, okay. So we're home again. Has Cody been fed? No, Cody still hasn't been fed, and I don't quite know what's going on here. Can someone just feed the child? Would that be okay if we could just do a bit of child feeding? Because he's very depressed. Oh, I think Ryder Roo. Ryder Roo. Well done, Ryder. Being absolute amazing daddy bearosaurus rex there. Getting little, uh, little Cody a bit of his food. Because we're going to be aging up Cody in this episode. So I need to make sure I can try and get as many. Is he hungry? He's tired as well. As many of his skills up as possible. His skills at the moment, his imagination is really good. I would expect nothing less from a child raised by Ryder. His communication is great as well. We could do maybe a tiny bit more potty training and a little bit more thinking. But to me, if he's... Sorry, Evie's behind me. That's why I'm like doing this weird like... Uh, if his imagination is good, but he's... Oh, happy thumbs, you guys. If his um, imagination is good, but his thinking isn't, I'm feeling no. like he's taken a lot more off Ryder than he has off Cody. And I really, really like that because obviously genetically he's... Um, He's, he's both of their son, but genetically he is um, Jake's son and not Ryder's. Oh, look at this, a painting by myself. But it's nice that he is somehow grown up more like 
rider. That's just real cute. Okay, let's do a little bit of potty training of him and then we'll read him to sleep. It's quite late for a toddler to be going to bed. I'm not super impressed by that, I have to say. And while you guys are getting on with that, somebody on Twitter, I'm sorry, so many of you guys sure talk to me and tell me stuff that I do like forget sometimes who it's from. Like there's no way I can just remember all the names. But I remember like the tweets and I remember the profile pictures because I'm, I'm a much better like visual memory than I am like a word memory, if that makes any sense at all. But one of you guys showed me um, Jake, I'm gonna go into cast, because you showed me Jake without the skin details on and you'd kind of done a little bit to him. And oh my gosh, he looked amazing. So I sort of, I want to maybe rework Jake a little bit. I don't skin know. Oh, I feel like Jake has put on a little bit of Papa Bear weight. He's starting to look a bit more like a little bit older, and you know what? I'm not adverse to that because he is a little bit older. So if I take off his skin details, which are, where are his? Which ones does he use? He uses a super pasty one, I know that. This one here. Oh, he old! He real old! Oh my gosh. And maybe just give him like a slightly less pasty one. I don't know. I feel like the person that showed me this potentially, they had a little play with him. They changed his appearance a little bit. Also, none of these male skins are working with my eyelashes, which is, oh, one of them is. Okay, we found one. We're just going to stick with it. Which one is it? Is this one here? I'm, I want to make him slightly paler though, because like he's still meant to be quite a pale sim. What about that? Do you like that? Does that look better or worse than regular, Jake? I don't know. 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 I don't know if Cody's gonna get Jake's nose. He's got like, like this bit of, mind you, I'm looking and mine's the same. This bit of his face comes out quite far. I don't know. I don't know what aging up Cody is gonna bring. He's so cute. Oh, look at his big pretty eyes. He's gonna be cute. He gotta be cute. Okay, I'm gonna see what you guys make of slightly changed Jake. I'm still not massively digging the skin that he's got, but I need one that's gonna work with eyelashes. What about that one? It's a bit overly real, isn't it? What about that one? That's sort of a happy medium, isn't it? I think that's a happy medium. Maybe is he just as he got older, his skin's texture's changed a little bit. Definitely happens, guys, especially in the second half of your 20s. All the things that used to be like, start to go, I'm starting to notice it. Luckily, I, I've got the oiliest skin on earth, so, and that tends to make your skin less agefied. But still, it's gonna happen to all of us. Enjoy. <laughs> Truths, sipping the tea, spilling the tea. It's actually coffee, so. Okay, so I'm kind of just gonna leave the Fisher farm. I'm sort of interested to see what time they naturally come home at. I kind of want to see how crazy this wedding party is, if it's gonna go on for a really long time. They got a beautiful day for it. It was actually a heat wave. But if you get married in like literally the middle of summer, you kind of expect good weather, don't you? Oh, <gasps> Evie's come in, older Evie. She's an older doggeroo now. Oh, she's so baby. Oh my gosh, me and Evie, like, whenever she's in season, which she has been recently. Oh, she's helping Cody do his toilets. That's so cute. Um, <laughs> she's much more like Ali's dog. Like, she just, ooh. Diane Schumer is no longer pregnant, you guys. Oops. Um, but what was I saying? Yeah, she's much more of an Ali kind of dog. She just prefers his company. But when she comes back out of season, me and her are like the bestest buds ever again. So we have been having a whale of a time being the best, best bonded human and pupperoo in the whole of the world. And I know I say this a lot, but I love Evie. I love her so much. That's why I made an entire video dedicated to her. I love her so damn much. And I also love this adorable little babu. I know you're tired, but that's why we're reading you a little story. Oh, there's an awful lot of mint green going on here. The eyes, the clothes. Oh, maybe some wee, wee colored. What am I trying to say? He green joining the scene. If Ryder wets himself, that was a bit of a tongue twister. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Anthony has returned home. Anthony's had enough of the party. He's like, I am ready for bed. Or dancing. Okay, he's taking the party home with him. We've got the radio on down here. I'm gonna switch that off. Oh, how are you even sleeping with that music on? I hope Anthony's not gonna try and dance to that because that's the Jida room. That's where they sleep. And that's the ghost of Shep. Guys, when did that happen? When, when did that happen? When did that happen? Shep has died? Shep has died. Shep has died. That's the ghost of Shep. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. 
Shep has died? I don't know where his gravestone is. Her graves, oh my gosh, even in death, I can't get the gender right. She's just straightening out James and Salma's. I can't believe Shep has gone. Like genuinely, is that it there? Shep. Oh, oh you guys. The sh who? That's one of the kitty cats. Shep, where do I put Shep? It's like kind of depresso because I'm gonna have to sort of put him, her, in front of Roxy and Ryder. Roxy and, oh my gosh. In front of Roxy and Jesse because eventually that's where their children will be buried. In front of them. Oh my gosh. Guys, Shep, we've lost our beautiful Sheparoo. I'm really, really sad about that. Super, super sad about that. That was, of course, Anthony's. Oh, everybody's home now. That was Anthony's dog, like his police dog. So that's just really, really sad. I'm gonna send everybody to sleep. Some of you guys were saying Hunter's room is a little bit too childish for him. But honestly, not everybody wants like a really grown up room. And maybe he's just like super into his comics and he's never really grown out of that. He's not ashamed of it. He's kind of just owning it. And I put a lot of effort into that room. Okay, I really like the room. I'm gonna send Rue to their bed as well over here. We will be advancing their storyline, as I said, this episode to look out for that. They're actually in here hanging out with Hunter, but it's 2 a.m. in the morning on a Tuesday. Who gets married on a Monday? Like, literally. You're causing some hangovers going into work if you do that. And I'm also noticing that we still have a butler. Kind of feeling like maybe we will have to uh, send the butler packing because we have 15,000 pounds and the bills here are probably more than that. Not sure what's going on here, but we've got an angry ghost of Shep and a pile of rubbish that's appeared in Cody's room. So thanks for not helping with that butler. I don't feel bad about firing you at all. Oh, and it's a good job they got married yesterday because look at it today. Oh, is the butler actually fixing this outside? Oh, she's giving it a go. This seems very hazardous <laughs> in the rain. I don't quite know how that story's gonna end. Stay tuned to find out more. Everybody's up and about. Rue is feeling super tense. She says because of the thunderstorms outside, but he, they say, sorry, but we know there's a little bit more going on with them. Gonna get these guys to do, ooh, you're too uncomfortable to do your homework. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if we all had an excuse like that, Hunter? Every time we couldn't be bothered to do the homework. Oh, I don't feel comfortable with doing the homework. Have a nice breakfast that Jake has cooked and then do that homework before you head into school, okay? Rue is doing theirs with little Cody in the bed, keeping him company. People always like to be keeping Cody company. It's so cute. And I actually think this is a thunderstorm. So let's look out and see if we can see. Oh, look, look at that visibility. Oh look, and you can't even see the dream house. That's crazy. That's some poor visibility right there. So Jake's got work in an hour, Kira's got work in an hour, and Anthony's got work in an hour. Lots of work going on. I'm gonna stay at home so I can level up some of Cody's skills with Ryder Rooster. The kids will be at school, so it's just gonna be me and Ryder. And I'm also gonna have to let the butler go, which I'm very sad about, because we've had a butler in the dream house for a really long time. It's this thunder I promised you guys. I wanna see the thunder. Oh! Uh, yeah, Evie was like, don't ever do that again. <laughs> wow, everybody in this house is scared of thunderstorms. Just putting it out there. This is a house full of folks that do not like a thunderstorm. The thunderstorms in this game are intense though, like. They are actually quite scary. Like me listening to them, like I can feel myself feeling a little bit tense just listening to them. <gasps> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, where is she? Where is she? Why well, can't I see her? Where's Kira? I can't see- there she is. Guys, Kira got struck by lightning! She got struck by lightning! Are you actually struck by lightning? Kira was hit by a bolt of lightning. I did not see that happen. You're meant to be at work as well. <gasps> I didn't know you could actually get hit by the lightning, you guys. She's feeling dazed because of it. And she's like an hour and a half late for work. I feel bad sending her into work after she's been hit by lightning, but oh gosh, I wonder if that could have killed her. Like really? If this game was going for realism, she would have died from that. Like, I don't think you could really survive being struck by- well you probably can, but it's so hard to die in this game that I would have actually quite liked for someone to die in that way. <gasps> Look at the Salvatore Dali-esque painting that Ryder's getting on with here. Cody's still sleeping, but as soon as he's up, yes. it's time for teaching. And thanks for just doing a painting without me even needing to ask you. So, 
so impressed with that. Go ahead and sell that to a collector. And then let's get another one going. Wow, toddlers sure do sleep for a really long time. <laughs> okay, finally he's up. We'll do a little bit of potty training first because I'd like to get that skill up. And then I might get him some food and clear up this garbage on the floor because I'm pretty sure that's just like a fish or something on top. Why is there a pile of garbage in here? Dislike immensely. And then the butler keeps evading me, but you will be getting fired. I'll find you and I'll fire you. You'll be no, you will not be getting away. There you are. I see you running around in the rain. Wait, you're a cleaner. We have a cleaner and a butler and a money problem. That makes no sense at all. Why did you keep picking it up and putting it back on the floor? What is going on there? Am I gonna have to be the one that puts this away? Where's my bin gone? Is that my bin all the way over? Where's my outdoor bin? Who stole my bin? Buy a new wheelie bin, there we go. And since you guys are useless, I am gonna put the trash away. There. Now for you. Ooh, should Hunter invite other classmates? Is it Salome or Salome? I think it's Salome, because why would there be an accent on the E? Salome? Ooh, and Rue wants to invite over Masami. Of course you guys can invite over your classmates. Ryder, you come and do some teaching of this adorable little baby angel. You guys get in from the storm. Wait, where are you running to? I'm scared. I'm scared you're gonna get struck by lightning. <gasps> There's Salome. Why don't you guys join a little group together? And then Rue, who's Masami? Ooh, you guys are friends. Okay, let's add her to a group as well. And then just everybody get out of the dangerous weather please there we go in they both go oh wow hunter is so stressed from school from his broken umbrella from the thunderstorm oh! oh my gosh did you guys just see that how did she get struck by lightning in the house oh my gosh i jumped out of my skin how did you get struck by lightning in your own home how does that even happen oh my gosh jeez they could have died? Oh my gosh, look at their face now. The thunder has made my game freeze. The thunder has legit just made my game freeze. What's happening? <gasps> okay, we're back. I don't even know what just happened, you guys. I just wanted them to play a game together with her friend, Masami. Who was the girl they were talking to last time? Was that Mas- was that- oh, that was Juliet. See, I quite like- Julia, I think she's cool. But I like that Rue has more than one little friendo. Okay, there you go. Play a little video game together. Try not to get struck by lightning. These guys are watching TV together. This lightning is scary. This lightning is legit pretty scary. These guys, I think Salome is trying to make Hunter feel a little bit better. Are they girlfriend and boyfriend? They're technically not girlfriend and boyfriend yet. I think we should get him to ask her. I kind of like the idea that these guys might run away and open El Salvador together. I think that would be so cute. Does the game know that she's from there though? I don't know. I don't really understand that. He's in such a bad mood though that today might not be the best day for him. Oh Rue, you're gonna have to get a shower or something. Like, you're so covered in soot and dirt. Oh, why does everybody run to here? I don't understand what, why the thunderstorm has messed with people's brains so much. Why are you so dirty as well? Guys, go home and sort yourselves out. You both need a shower. Ooh, oh, these guys are in a super flirty <laughs> mood now. Shall I attempt to seduce her? I don't know if it will work, but we'll give it a go. She's I'm so pretty. Boy, yeah. Like, look at her appearance. She's not even my sim. She's just like a wild sim but she's so cool looking she blinks really slow they blink like this like they're dazed like she must have been struck by lightning too but she's so cute i love her she's actually so cute oh he's holding her hands oh hunter hunter you go in you get in there you oh no don't do that don't do that i always forget that attempt to seduce does that horrible dance it's so bad what are you asking now I missed that. And why is Masami just in here playing The Sims? Kind of killing the mood right there. Rue, I'm gonna have to get you to get a shower as well. Why is everyone so lightning-y? So despite the fact that Rue's friend here is totally killing the mood, these guys are hitting it off, which is funny because she's got two Sims hitting it off in the hot tub there as well. And we got our real life Sims here. Oh, tickling, tickling going on there. Oh, look, look, look. He's got on his own that he wants to kiss her. But she has just stood up and started cleaning Cody's peas. 
So I'm not sure if he's actually gonna go ahead and do it all on his own. What's Cody even doing? Cody's sad from low fun. Why don't you play dolls with daddy bears? Come on, Hunter, go for it. Go for the kiss all on your own. No, he's chickened out, you guys. He is totally chickened out of doing a kiss. That's fine though, because Rue has some plans for something that she'd like to do this evening. It's a little bit later than I originally planned, but she would like to go on a dinner, not with Masami, with her close fam alums. Oh wait, I need Carrie as well, because they want to have a conversation with them. So I'm gonna take them over to the poshest restaurant in town, the Chez Lama. What's that, money problems? No, we're gonna pretend they don't exist. Okay, so we got the whole gang along here. I'm, I'm scared now leaving people inside in case they get like electrocuted. So I'm just gonna get everybody in a saps. Ooh, Connor and Erica are here. Look at these guys on a date, even with three kids finding the time for romance, which means somewhere poor Macy is trying to look after three children all on her own. There's always a, a sunny side and a side in the shed. Forney for toes Why are you bad? talking about commitment Pinyops. issues? Ah, but you me. Yes. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they're laughing about the fact that they thought Connor would have them, but he actually doesn't. Ooh. Because as you can tell, no, still know, yeah. very don't happily in love, these two. Ah, oh my gosh, I'm quite enjoying so spying on their oh, date. Because they're like <laughs> such a loved up, ah, amazing okay, couple. But you guys aren't the focus He's of this. Friend. Now you're talking about woofers? Oh my gosh, I could like, you know how you like people watching? I like sim people watching, just like spying on sims, just seeing what they're up to. It's such great fun, but they aren't the focus. We've got these guys here. Kari has come along as well. Kira, why don't you sit here? Why, why would you sit there? That's just weird and awkward. Come and sit so we're all like together-ish. Let's go ahead and order some foodies. It's nice to see Kari with these guys. Ooh, and Hunter's real angry. Scream into a pillow, do a workout, talk it through. Talk it through with some hunter. Maybe he's angry because he didn't get the guts to kiss Salome. So let's get some wine for the adults and you guys can have, why is, why is there never an option other than water? Have some water, enjoy. And then I'm just gonna do the main because sometimes when I order two courses, only one of them ever arrives. This looks really cool. You guys get this, you guys get this and you get this. Pow. So I've asked Rue to have. I oh, she fell control. out with somebody then. No, like, I've asked uh, Rue to have a boy. deep conversation with all of the members <laughs> of the family because, as they know, Rue stopped identifying as being a girl a while ago and asked to be called, asked to be referred to as the pronouns uh -huh. they and them because they just didn't really feel like. A, they didn't feel like they were a girl in a girl's body. Something just wasn't right. It was not making them very happy. And luckily the family have all been super understanding. Yes. Ooh, the waiter's here. When the waiter's here, you, you'd wait. You'd be quiet and you'd wait for the waiter to go away so you could get back into a deep conversation with the family. So something wasn't right and they weren't happy, but they couldn't really figure it out. But as they've got older, they've more and more started to feel like they're not really in the right body. And they wanted to have a super frank conversation with, ooh, hunted didn't agree with something there, but they do want to continue on the journey that they've already begun on. And Rue would like to become Ruben. Rue would like to become a boy. And she wanted to talk to everyone's cheering though. Everyone's like, we knew this about you anyway. This isn't a shock or a surprise to us. We're supportive and happy. I wasn't expecting the yays. That's really cool. So the only person that got minuses over the heads during that conversation was Hunter. I guess Aww. when they adopted Rue, he kind of got this bond with what he originally had as a little Sheila, sister. They shared a room together that? and he was pretty Didn't close with her and maybe he's kind of, Laura. no, he's not wanting to hug. Laura. Maybe he's kind of sad that he's losing the sort of little sister. <laughs> wow, Hunter really has just completely shut her out, you guys. These guys don't seem as close as they were before. But everybody else in the family does seem to have been super, super good about the whole thing. In fact, these guys are arguing even more about it. That's not good. But Rue has decided what Rue wants to do. And even if Hunter isn't on board, the rest of the family are. These guys are still arguing about it. I wasn't expecting that. The rest of the family are. And I know that transitioning isn't just something that happens overnight. There's like, where, where are you going, Kira? You're off to go chat with Rue over here. <gasps> Maybe she's off to go and make her feel a little bit better. They're heading upstairs. <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, they've never done this before. They're like getting away from everybody and going upstairs for a little private chat. Maybe Kira is like, look, I know your brother took this really like, oh. <laughs> How much of a good egg is Kira? Your brother hasn't taken this well, but me and your dad do support you. This is your decision, oh, and we'll be with you every step of the way. And maybe Rue's showing us some stuff, oh, like information oh. that she's found out <laughs> online. Like, oh, the, this is like the journey we're gonna be taking together. These are like the drugs I'd have to do. This is potentially like the operation I could choose to get done if I wanted to do. And Kira to me seems like super supportive of her. I'm gonna also get Kira to talk to Ryder because Ryder's obviously really close with Faith. And I think it's the kind of thing that if your doctor was in the family and you were happy enough for them to be... I know that a doctor... In a doctor in Sims, a doctor does everything. I know in real life there'd be like a certain specialist for this, but it's Sims. So I kind of feel like if she's comfortable with Faith helping her out with this, then Faith and Caden can kind of guide her on this journey. And I also know it isn't something that's just going to magically happen overnight. I'm not just going to go into cast and click. It's something that's going to take a little bit longer. There's a long sort of process for it. Maybe it takes a long time to feel comfortable as like passing as, as a boy. And we'll be there for all of that. This is obviously like a storyline that I've never done before. It's something I have zero life experience on. So if I'm getting any of this stuff wrong, let me know. But I know it was important to you guys that I was inclusive enough to put through a storyline like this. So hopefully you like the way that I've done it so far. And I actually think, although I kind of wanted everyone to be happy about it, the fact that Hunter hasn't been and is taking issue with it is probably a little bit more realistic, right? Not everybody is on board straight away. Maybe you do end up having people that don't want to be a part of your life anymore or push you away a little bit initially. So the fact that Hunter has done this is probably quite realistic. But Carrie, Anthony and Kira especially have all been really, really good about it. So Rue has told them the news. The next step will be to have a chat with Faith and with Caden, which we can do in the next In The City. And then we can slowly start to change Rue body appearance over time until she goes from Ruby to Rue to Ruben. And it's 1.40 in the morning. How does this always happen to me? Oh, someone needs to pay. Ugh. End the meal and pay for the bill, please. There we go. 89 pounds. You know what? Actually, kind of a steal. So Ryder is actually up with Cody. So this is probably a good time for Kira to come upstairs and get some advice. Rue has entered the picky eater phase. And look, they're like super, super happy with the way all that's gone. So I'm really, really happy about that. But I do think that they're going to be really upset with Hunter's reaction to things. Oh, look at these two. So cute. So Skira is saying <laughs> to Ryder, can you chit chat with uh, Faith? This is what Ruse told us this evening. And I'd love to get Faith and Caden's advice and guidance throughout this process. Oh, and I think Ruse also oh. pretty angry at Hunter for the way he's reacted. But maybe over time, these guys can fix their relationship a little bit. How weird that they're talking about the urinals, which is like a boy's only thing. Like sometimes this game just gets it so right. However, it's sleepy time. I feel like they'll they'll be able to figure it out. I do. They've been close for a really long time. Maybe it's because they're so close that Hunter's finding this hard. But at the end of the day, it's Rue's journey, not hers. Oh, and I love that Rue's even woken up in like a really happy mood. I feel like that must have been just like the biggest weight off their shoulders and they're really excited for their journey. Probably scared, like there's a lot that goes into it, but I think they'll also be really excited. Oh my gosh, where is there a fire? Why is there a fire? Why is there always a fire? Butler, come and put it out. Oh, the sprinklers are. Of course, every episode we have to have a fire disrupting my whole morning. <gasps> Hunter's on fire. Oh my gosh, Hunter, put yourself out. Extinguish yourself. <laughs> For God's sake. Two people hit by lightning and one person set on fire in one episode. Wow. Oh, Jake ran with Babaru around the front to make sure he was safe. You have to go to work now though, Jake. Oh, look how sad Cody is that he had to go to work. Poor baby. Baby needs a bubble bath anyway. So Anthony actually has the day off today. He's out practicing a little bit of his guitar. He was meant to be like good at guitar. I just never got around to teaching him. He's level four. And he's also doing it to give these guys a little bit of entertainment as they rest in peace. Oh! <gasps> Evie, Evie has lived a good life filled with bones, balls, and barks, but now it's time. <gasps> oh no, 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 no. 
no, yes, no, yes. no. Oh, this was the problem with making Evie. This was the problem with making Evie. Oh, because I'd have to watch a dying game. Guys, Beanie. Oh, I don't want to see this. Like, I don't ever want to see this. She's not even, she's not breathing. Oh my gosh. This is why you don't make your dog in a Sims game, okay? This is why you don't make your dog in a Sims game. Where is she? Where is she? Beanie, I need to huggle you. My little baby is very much alive and well, don't worry. You're never gonna die, are you? You're gonna live forever. You will live forever, baby, okay? Nothing's ever gonna happen to you. So this is... This is my actual saddest death in Sims because it's the bean and she's real and she's right here. But real beanie is still alive, guys. Oh my gosh. This episode's been too much so far, Evie. It's just been too much, okay? You come sit behind me. Guys, no, no, okay? If you kill the Grim Reaper, does that mean no one else can die? Can I kill him? Oh, and Ryder was outside mourning Shep at the time. <gasps> no, it's morning Anastasia. I'm gonna have to move this urn outside as well now, aren't I? Oh my gosh. I don't think Evie's gravestone would be as big as Shep, so I'm gonna make it smaller and put them side by side. It's too sad. In fact, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna get like um, a little squeaker and put it next to Evie's and then a nice ball for Shep. There we go. Oh my gosh, and Ryder's sick as well. Should you really be handling a baby if you're that sick? Or maybe it's like, you know how like babies get chicken pox and they always give them to like, other people. I gave my dad shingles when I was a kid and I got chicken pox. Also, I've got a scar on my lip from my chicken pox too, but Ryder's probably got chicken pox from Cody, let's face it. Oh, Ryder's too hot as well. But it costs money to turn the thermostat to air conditioning, so... I'm sorry, kiddo. Okay, guys, this should make you feel a little bit less sad because it's so adorable. Do you remember this exact scene? The eyes have just reminded me with Roxy and Ryder when Ryder was a little kid. It's like a generation onwards. Now little Cody is having the exact same thing. Oh my gosh, Ryder was such a cute baby with that pink hair. So that's really adorable. I actually think James gave Ryder a bath once as well and we watched that, so that was super cute too. Ryder's hungry, uh, sorry, Cody's hungry Ryder, so I know that you want to get food yourself, but you're gonna have to deal with Cody first. Rue's writing Masami over again. You guys are close. <gasps> and look at this. Hunter is in familial distress from being near family, which is Rue. I just need to escape this family. Hunter's really not happy with what Rue's decided. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting that reaction. Okay, so tonight is the night that I'm gonna age up the Kudz to Runa, which means I'll need to age up Sammy B pretty soon as well. I feel like they're fairly close in age, but Cody's definitely a little bit older than Sa older, older than Sammy B. I'm pretty sure he is at least. I want to do like he's pretty close to like being able to talk, so I would just like to do the communication one quickly. And then like not all of them need to be high. Like he doesn't have to be a great thinker. I don't like this idea that kids have to be good at everything. They need to find something they enjoy and like focus on that. And he's got an amazing imagination. This is quite an arty household though. This is like, there's paintings from Claire all over the walls in this house. So it's not surprising that, oh, and he's reached party level three. It's not surprising that then um, whoever lived here would be inspired by that. It's my, uh, my inspiration and influence living on, even though I'm buried out in the garden. Oh man, and look how Rue is walking. What is going on there? You're having a mood swing. They're off to go punch a teddy. Wow, this teddy's been shrunk though, so this animation is not gonna look right. Oh, she's just yelling at it. Just yelling at it. <gasps> Cody's reached communication level five, you guys. I feel like that means it's probably time. <gasps> oh, and Jake's come upstairs to eat his dinner in here so he can like hang out with the farm. I think that means it's time to do a little bit of aging up. And I'm gonna get Rue to focus that anger on something a little bit more constructive and go ahead and bake a cake. Oh, we've got the perfect music playing, which is cute. Oh, look at these two hanging out together. Little Cody's oh. frustrated with words, but you learned to talk. You did a good job. And it means now you can chit chat with Jake and ask him about his day at work. Or at least tell him about dinosaurs and princesses. This is going to be like the angriest cake in the whole world. This is like a cake filled with rage and wrath instead of like sparkles and happy thoughts. I mean, look at how it's been made. I'm worried about this cake. 
look, it seems to be... It seems to be a little bit mood improving though, which is the whole reason we're doing it in the first place. I'm gonna invite over Faith and Caden. I know it's a little bit of a strange decision, but I think it's the right thing to do. I think I think it's something that, although Faith has been amazing at kind of just like taking a step back and letting them raise um, Cody. Oh my gosh, of course, of course there has to be a fire. Oh, and look at the cake. Look at the cake. Wow. Anthony's come to cut it out. Oh, we're gonna have to replace so much stuff. Oh! But I think Faith would still want to be here. I do think she'd still want to be here to see little Cody agent. Oh my gosh, this is gonna cost so much money. I can't afford to keep doing this. And look at the state of this cake. That's the worst cake I think I've ever seen. But it's Rue's and you can't turn around and say, lol, your cake's rubbish, Rue. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. So Caden is here looking super, super summery. He he and Jake don't really see eye to eye, but they're being pleasant at least. They are being pleasant. Where is Faithykins? Oh, look at that beautiful, beautiful summer evening sun. Oh, Faithykins is here, you guys. I'm gonna get a uh, rider to hug her, but also um, talk a little bit about Rue with her as well so that we can advance that storyline. Hunter's come down in his dressing gown, which is obviously pretty interesting. And let's go, oh, why can't I age up Cody? There we go, ask for help blowing out candles. I'm gonna get, Jake to do it. Ryder's been spending a lot of time in the daytime with um, little Cody. So I would like Jake to be the one that does this. Okay, Caden said, yeah, we'd love to get to know her and help out. So that's really cool. And in fact, Caden's gone over to chat with her about it straight away. Them about, sorry, I keep doing that. Caden had gone over and chit chat with Rue. So that's really, really good. Rue is in the middle of a massive mood swing though. She's obviously not ideal. And look at this, Caden's now singing happy birthday. And Cody is about to age up, I think. <gasps> Here we go. Can I see what they look? Oh, they're in the background there. So they were angelic as a kid. They are definitely like creatively focused. I'm gonna keep that. And then is there like a toddler trait that I've got? There is, isn't there? They were an angelic child. So why don't we make them? Why don't we make them a little giggle meister? That would be so cute. I'm gonna make them a giggle meister. And oh my gosh, it's given him like, it's changed his hair color and it's given him Jake's skin, which I'll probably change. Skin details. However, guys, he's pretty adorable. So I've got this picture up of little child, uh, toddler Seb to go by. And this is how he looks as a child. So why do we call him Seb? Cody, sorry. Let's take off those skin details. He's super cute. He's got hair like riders. I will change his hair back to redhead though. I can't remember what skin details those are though. Okay, there he's got his hair back. And he was quite freckly as well, wasn't he? Oh my gosh, he's super adorable. I kind of knew he would be though, because he's like such a cute kid. Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. And I liked his like little dungarees and stuff as a kid. Oh, I need to find. I need to find the trousers that go with this jump, this top because I really like the top but I can't find the trousers that go with it. Like how cool is that? But it obviously doesn't go with the trousers so if you can find me those trousers I will love you forever. And I wanted to kind of give him dungarees but I just don't think they've got dungarees for older kids. I love them though. Oh they do. Bit farmer though. A little bit farmer, I'm thinking. He was such a stylish kid though, because he was like um, a mini, he was like dressed by Ryder and Ryder's pretty, Ryder's pretty stylish. Do you think this is quite stylish? This is like no CC, this is all in-game stuff. I think that's like kind of cool. We've not really had someone that's dressed like that. I kind of like that. Okay, formal. <gasps> no hair, hair, you need to stop that business. I'm kind of digging this for formal. I think that's quite like cute and sort of grown up y. I want it with like little boat shoes though. Do they have boat shoes for kids? Are they bowling shoes? Yeah, I think they are, Claire. <laughs> there we go. He looks smart. He's athletic wear. Oh, he looks like a little footballer. Oh, I quite like that. Oh my gosh, how much does he look like a footballer? That's so cool. Some little JJs. Party wear. I'm kind of digging all the outfit. I feel lazy, but I'm kind of quite digging a lot of the stuff it's given him. It sort of seemed like, seems like his style. But then we just giving everybody these, right? Well, I think Chase did have this one. That's cute. It, it does look like Ryder's dressed him, which I like a lot. That's a bit hair clashy. I'll go for a darker red. 
That is summer gear. Man, I wish I had something I could put this on with. Does it fit with anything I've got at all? It's just like, it goes a bit too high, doesn't it? Oh, that'd be so perfect as well. Cute. He's such a bonny little one. Stop your hair. I love that colour hair, but you're a bit young to be dyeing your hair, kiddo. Ooh, should I give him a little hat for his summer outfit? Oh, they're all clashing a little bit. It doesn't really go. <laughs> okay, winter. I kind of want to put him in this, because, like, the his dad's wear the little scarf, too, so I think it will, like, be a nice match. And a little hat. Look, it matches the scarf. How cute is that? I kind of want to give him a little hat with this. That looks cute, doesn't it? I like that. That's, like, his regular look. But at the moment, he's going to be wearing his hot weather one quite a lot. There we go, guys. Cody Jet. Let me know what you think of him in the comments below. Let's see him in real life. Oh, he's got his regular day outfit on. He is cool. He looks like a little dude. Someone's smelly, though, which he's not enjoying. But there is little Cody. So, guys, let me know what you think about him. Oh, it looks like Caden's already getting down to business about this. And there's arguments happening. Okay. Let me know what you think of Cody. And also, let me know what you think about Rue's uh, chit chat. That cake looks so disgusting. In the comments below, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Dreamhouse. I'll see you in another one. Bye!